Hello and welcome to my channel everyone. So today in this lecture we will be elaborating the term retention and what is meant by retention in prosthodontics. So first let's look at the definition of retention which states that the retention is defined as that inherent quality in the dental prosthesis acting to resist the forces of dislodgement along the path of placement. So this definition is from the ninth edition of glossary of prosthodontic terms. So according to this definition, retention basically helps to resist the displacement of the denture along the path in which it was placed. Or in much simpler words, retention is that property of the denture that helps it to retain in the patient's mouth during normal oral functions. To explain this even further, let's take an example of a patient who visits a dental OPD for the fabrication of a maxillary denture. So the first step for making any denture is taking an impression of the arcs. So the dentist takes an impression of both the maxillary as well as the mandibular arcs and starts the fabrication of the maxillary denture. After the fabrication of maxillary denture is complete, the dentist tries to place it in the patient's mouth. But as soon as the maxillary denture is placed in the patient's mouth, it falls off immediately after retaining only for a brief moment in the patient's mouth. The dentist then makes some adjustment to the maxillary denture and tries to fix it once again in the patient's mouth. This time the denture does stay in its place. But as soon as the patient tries to speak, the denture falls off once again. So in both the situations, we can say that the denture does not have adequate retention and therefore it does not retain in the patient's mouth. Therefore, this maxillary denture in the example is hence lacking any kind of retention. So for a denture to have adequate retention, it needs to retain in the patient's mouth at all times until the patient himself willingly wants to remove it. Otherwise, the denture will keep on dislodging during speaking, chewing or other normal oral functions, which is highly undesirable. Now what causes a denture to be less retentive? So for a maxillary denture, the main force that opposes the retention of the denture is of course the force of gravity, that is pulling the denture in the downward direction. While in the case of mandibular denture, the main force that may cause the dislodgement of the denture will be the force from movements of the tongue. This is not to say that the tongue does not interfere with the retention of the maxillary denture. The tongue does also interfere with the retention of the maxillary denture, but the effect of tongue hindering the retention of the maxillary denture is lesser as compared to the effect of tongue on the retention of mandibular denture. While the force of gravity is the main culprit for opposing the retention of the maxillary denture. Forces from other places like the forces from the muscles of mastication, the muscles of the cheek which is the buccinator muscle, the muscle of the lip which is the orbicularis oris muscle are less of a problem to encounter but they can still cause problems or dislodgement in both the dentures and hence should always be considered while taking impressions along with other intraoral forces as well. Now let's talk about retention among different types of prosthodontic appliances. So retention is not a problem at all for any kind of fixed partial denture or fixed appliances because these are essentially fixed in their places with the help of certain materials. So they tend to have an excellent retention in the patient's mouth. Also in the cases of removable partial denture, adequate retention can be provided by using direct retainers or otherwise also known as the clasps. So the components of the clasp assembly effectively engage with the abundant tooth providing the much needed retention for the removable partial denture. That is, if they are accurately fabricated. Without the accuracy, even with the clasps, a denture can still struggle for adequate retention. Therefore, accurately fabricated clasps are very crucial for the retention of a removable partial denture. On the other hand, in cases of complete denture, since there are no natural teeth present in the mouth to be able to engage with the clasps, therefore, making a clasp for complete denture is not an option. Instead, complete denture relies on other methods for its retention, such as the forces of adhesion and cohesion, vacuum, natural contours of the mouth, and many others. So fabricating a retentive complete denture seems a little bit more of a challenge than fabricating a retentive removable partial denture. That being said, if all of the steps of complete denture fabrication are accurately followed, then adequate retention can be achieved in most cases of complete denture. 
Also, using an implant supported prosthesis is also a good option for achieving excellent retention. But of course, using an implant comes with their added cost. Just an ending note, retention is not to be confused with either stability or support. As I've already discussed, retention is the quality of the denture that holds it in its place, while stability essentially makes the denture more stable in the patient's mouth. I will talk more about stability and support in my next videos, but all of these qualities are highly desirable and necessary for a denture to function effectively in the patient's mouth. And without even one of these qualities, the denture will not be much of a use to the patient or it may even cause damage to the underlying tissues, which will eventually give rise to even further problems. So this was a video on the basics of prosthodontics in which we looked into the term retention. I hope everything is clear in this video. Please stay safe, take care and goodbye.